Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel New Networks. In this tutorial, we will be configuring multi-factor authentication. So guys, moving on to the browser, the very first time I am logging to the Sophos Central account, I will type central.sophos.com. Going to this uh, website over here, it will ask me for my login credentials. I will be putting my email address and then I will be putting the password to login. I have entered my credentials over here and now it is logging me to the central.sophos.com that is the Sophos Central dashboard. But you can see that since it is the first time login, it will ask me or it will enforce me to configure multi-factor authentication. As you can see that set up your login information and it is enforcing me to configure multi-factor authentication. I will click on next over here. Over here it is saying that enter the security code sent to your email. Okay, I will go to my email. I will be putting the security code over here and then uh, it is saying that in addition you need to create a six digit pin so that if you need this in order to use email as an authentication method it is very important that you can you can you do not lose this pin. So guys let me explain you what it is. Uh, like let's say for example two factor authentication can be set either through your email or using your mobile number okay you will get an otp on your email or on your mobile phone so basically it is saying that whenever you are using a authentication method you are preferring to be email at that time along with the security code uh, which we, you will receive or as you can say otp which you receive on your email you have to use this pin also which you will be configuring now but when it comes to a mobile authentication you don't need to do so so guys, uh, I will be showing you both this authentication method. Uh, just I will go to my email. I will put the security code and the pin. I will uh, set it over here. So guys, the security code which I have received, I have put over here. Then I will be just putting the pin over here. I will click on next. The security code and okay i believe that i have done some typing error uh, okay i will just put it again since this is the thing you will be receiving one more new code over here so we will be putting the new code over here and then again i will uh, put the pin and i will click on next okay then i will put in and i will click on next button over here it is saying that choose the method you would like to use to authenticate yourself into the site whether you want sms text message or you want a sophos google authenticator so i will say sms text step one we have completed where we have um, used our where, where you have created your pin and now in the step two it is saying that to the authentication time i have uh, chosen sms text message and i will click on next over here it is asking you for the country i am located in united arab emirates i will be saying uae united arab emirates and i will put my mobile number over here and I, then i will click on next as soon as i put my mobile number it is saying that uh, it has sent a security code to my mobile number i have received the code i will, I will put it over here and i will click on finish You can see now I am logging to the Sophos Central dashboard. So this is how guys you will configure a multi-factor authentication when you are logging into the appliance for the sorry not in the appliance into the Sophos Central dashboard for the first time. Now guys let's see that we have to create one user into your Sophos Central dashboard by default uh, through the which account you have created a user that will be used okay now let's assume that you want to create one more user uh, to give the access uh, to your Sophos Central dashboard so you will, what you will do you will go to people over here from the left pane you will click on add button over here you will click on add user uh, one more thing I want to show that if you have a list of users multiple user you can import through a CSV file or you will say add user and you will create a user like let's say for example I need to create a user first and last name I will say IT support email address you need a genuine email address over here uh, as if now I don't have any uh, I mean I don't have any domain with me for now so I will be saying that IT 
underscore support at uh, lab.com what is the role of the user whether this will be us normally a user or a super admin admin help desk read only let's say i want to create an admin for now exchange uh, login this is optional and you will just scroll down and either if you want to save one more user save and as another if you want to just finish it over here you will click on save over here so now you can see uh, we have created a user with the name it support and the email is it underscore support at lab.com so guys that's all for this tutorial in the coming tutorial uh, we will be saying how you can configure a synchronized security where you will be managing uh, for very first thing uh, how you will configure synchronized security and second thing how you will be managing a firewall using a synchronized security uh, we will be looking very first what is synchronized security and that's all for this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial